Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm putting the hide paste on the form. We have a system we're going to do. I'm going to put it on this part of the form, lower part, around the eyes. Don't be stingy with the hide paste. Very important. Put a lot of hide paste on because we're going to adjust the skin. Taxidermy. Taxi. Adjust. Derm. We're skin adjusters. The derm stands for skin. So, what we're going to do is keep putting this hide paste on there. Get it on there. Let it get a little tacky. We're going to put the skin on. In other words, the cape here. We're going to go ahead and adjust it. Now, all of this over here in the shoulder areas will be put on a few moments later because we don't want to get a lot of hide paste up in the sole area. So what we'll do, we'll slip this skin on, the cape on, adjust it the way we want it, and then we'll start to sew it, and obviously once we're through sewing, we'll further adjust the skin until the hide paste hardens. So don't be stingy with hide paste. Put a lot of it on there. Do a good job, especially around the facial areas. Go ahead and cover the eye, tear duct area, the nose, nostrils, the lip area, chin, underneath, the neck, all of that real heavy. Because once you put the skin on, you adjust it, you go ahead and form the eyes and the eyelids over there. You obviously go ahead and wipe off the eye and everything is bonded and set just right. Okay, what we're going to do here now, I'm going to show you, I've already got all this sewed up. I'm going to have to come back, of course, and groom the elk. But uh, remember, we covered all of this up in here with paste, came down here, stopped right down on this area. Now, since I've already got this sewed up, but I don't have it tacked to the back of the form yet, is all I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to have to turn the form upside down, but you see, look, I just pull the skin forward. You notice that nice baseball stitch there? But what I'm going to do, I'm, see right here where the right here where the uh, hide paste stopped, I'm going to come back and cover this whole area with hide paste. And like I said, don't be cheap with the hide paste. I don't know if you can hear the thunder out there, but we're getting some rain in Colorado. Yay! See that hide paste? Then you just cover it. Put it all over. You don't be stingy with it. I'm getting the top part over here. I'm going to have to, like I said earlier, I'm going to have to flip this over here in a little bit and get the bottom. The brisket area and armpits, very important. And once this hide paste sets up, this skin's not going no place. You always want to give yourself and or your customer, if you're a commercial taxidermist, you do something for someone else, you always want to give them fine quality work and make sure you do it right. Now, let me wash my hands off here. Here's this, just to show, see? We can actually roll this back down. Now, go ahead. Get the armpit area. Brisket right here. Get all that very well. You can leave a little bit extra on there because you can actually smooth that down. That will give you the contours the muscles and accentuate the uh, armpit area, etc. Rub that into the form. Like I said, leave it on thick. Don't be stingy with it. And there you go. That's how you do it. I'll pull this skin back over the form, tack it in the back, I'll adjust everything, and let it dry.